What's up, guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig, and it's Friday. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Let's take a look at the charts, see what's going on. We'll start out with the bigger time frames, move on down to the smaller ones. I'll show you guys my invalidation point, which hasn't changed in a year and where I still believe Bitcoin's going. We'll look at that chart at the end, but first we're going to start out in the bigger time frames, roll down to the smaller. If that sounds good to you, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Make sure you leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Also, share the video if you would. And if you're not subscribed, I suggest you do so for daily updates on Bitcoin. I will next week. I'm going to try to get back into the you know early morning, every morning videos. Um, just been real busy with uh, the house stuff. So, anyways, let's get into it. So, um, as you guys know, I think we're just in another bear trap, and uh, people are saying we broke the high here, and they're talking about this high. I want to talk about that for a minute. You'll notice every time you make a new low, like right here, then you came up. This was a bull trap. You made a new low, and then you had this bull trap. You made a new low, and then you had this bull trap, right? Um, you can't consider this the high that either one of these, the high, when they say you got to break the previous high, you can't count these. You got to count the one after the lows, right? Or before the lows. Here was your last high. Here's your low. It did not break this high, right? And then you made a new low. Then you came up, did not break this high, made a new low. You come up, didn't break this high, you made a new low over here, right? Now you're coming up, but your last high before the low was over here. So this is, actually, it's right here. You made a new low here, and so your last high is right there about that 25.3. So unless you break 25.3, then you haven't broke the old high, which I don't think we're going to. If we do, I wouldn't expect it to be more than a wick. But we'll take a look at what's going on. As you guys know, this is the weekly chart. Just wanted to show you the hidden bearish divergence. If we roll over here, this will be confirmed. Um, so really no confirmation until next week. But there is my invalidation point. It's at that 25.8. But like I said, as you can see from this high here to this high here, in a downtrend, you have a lower high and then a higher high in the RSI, which is hidden bearish divergence. We are in a downtrend. Hidden divergence is a continuation of the trend. Look how high the RSI got here. Now, what happens if the RSI gets all the way up here and you don't, we go up to that 30,000 or whatever? You're still going to be making major hidden bearish divergence up there. So I still believe we have a lower low to go this year at least. As you guys know, I think the false bottom is probably going to be sometime in March, maybe even as far into April. Uh, but then I think we'll get another rally just like this, get everyone bullish again. Uh, we talked about this way before it happened about how people get bullish in bear markets on bear market rallies, right? They sentiment changes. They think that was it. The bottom's in. They call it over and over. Guys, I don't think the bottom's in. I could be wrong. Maybe it's in. I don't think so until my chart's invalidated. I'm sticking to the game plan. And the game plan is there's at least one more lower low to come, but possibly two. As you guys know, I think the true bottom will be in sometime in September or October of this year. Um, I think your traditionals are still going to crash and Bitcoin has never seen a traditional bear market in its whole time it's been around, right? And they want to talk about the four-year cycles. Well, something else happens every four years. And if you look at all the, uh, pretty much any chart is going to show you four-year, you know, ups and downs. But it doesn't have to reach a new all-time high every four years. So let's get into it. Let's go to... Oh, before we get into it, if you guys haven't checked out Prime XBT, I definitely suggest checking it out. By far, my favorite exchange. They do sponsor the channel, but um, it's actually very easy to use, and you can trade for free on there uh, just to try it out. If you if you sign up for them, hit the contest section right here, then you can join the contest. You put in your nickname, whatever you want. Um, and you can join the contest for free to get familiar with it. You know how to put in longs and shorts and how it all works. You can have multiple longs in, multiple shorts all at the same time. Um, definitely check them out. You can also trade Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, all from one exchange. So you don't have to be switching back and forth from exchanges. So anyways, you can use my promo code also. Savvy50 will get you up to a $7,000 bonus to use towards your margins. Savvy25 will get you 25% off of the trading fees. All right, guys, so here it is. This is These are the trend lines we've been watching right here, right? Uh, these two yellow lines going down. 
this channel. And I talked about it yesterday, a close above that. Um, on the daily, we'd be bullish, which we did. We closed above yesterday's. Uh, today's hasn't closed yet, but let's see if it if it does close below. If Bitcoin could still be in trouble here. We did get a bounce off the eight EMA, so um, there is reason to believe that we could go higher. And as you guys know, twenty five eight that is my invalidation point of the um, dot com bubble chart, right? So if we get up there, then that invalidates that chart. You never have to look at it again. But until then, we're going to keep looking at it. We'll look at that at the end of the video. But on the daily chart here, something else I wanted to point out. Zoom in here. If you look here, we're making higher highs. And if you look here, we're making lower lows. That is regular bearish divergence, right? That's signaling a top of a trend. Um, it looks like this could very well be topped out here and turn around and come down. But that's not to say it is the weekend, not to say we couldn't get one quick pump up, one quick rally up, right? Um, but as of right now, I'm still bearish here. I still think we come down. Um, here's the next level to look for on the daily. We have different levels to look for on the four hour, and we'll look at those in a minute. But on the daily right here, um, this is somewhere where I think we'll probably get a bounce and get support when we get down into here in the next couple of weeks, get a get a rally up, come back, try again, break it. Right now, we've been beating on this uh, trend line pretty hard right here back to the downside. So if we do break below this again, um, and right now, it's currently about 22.890, 22.9, just say if we break below that, then probably going to continue down from there. Um, super bullish case. If you want the super bullish case for them perma bulls out there, they always think the bottom's in every time Bitcoin goes down, right? So, uh, looking at this top dotted trend line right here, and this as the bottom trend line, looking at that as a descending triangle or a falling wedge, and you put it to the breakout point, that gets you up to about the 31,000 to 31,500 area. Uh, could we reach there? Possibly. Do I think we're going to? I do not. Um, and what I do on this channel is I tell you how I read the charts, what I'm seeing, what I'm doing, right? Um, in the Discord earlier, I did put another short in at 22,229, I believe it was. You can go check in the Discord. Links down below. Anyways, let's go into the smaller time frames here and kind of look what's going on. Uh, we'll go into the four-hour same thing here guys you can see all the divergence right just getting bearish divergence lower highs in the rsi higher highs in the price action bearish divergence looks like it's gonna roll over let's take a look at these trend lines here so this is this yellow line i i'm going to move it now this one is the one i had drawn up here off of this week we did break through it came back down and got a bounce here so i redrew this line now we have a white line now this is the area i'm watching for a break uh, which also lines up at the top of the yellow line but 22.8 22.9 somewhere in that range if we break that area chances are we might have a you know this weekend we may start heading down towards this we may not hit it till next week but uh, 20,500 area would be my target, and that's just a measured move off of the break of this. Now, if we break up, then like I said, we could come up to test that 25 to 25 8 range. Um, but if we did that, I think it would be a very, very hard collapse after that. And let me show you uh, that chart we started with in the beginning. When these turn around after a bull trap, it turns fast, guys, really fast. You can see each one of these, once it comes down, it comes down hard. And this is pretty much looking like, if not the end of the trap, uh, pretty damn close. And we're going to have something like this. It may take, you know, a week, may take two weeks, but uh, we would definitely be heading down if this is the point we're turning around here, which I do believe is quite possible. So be careful out there. I know everyone's getting extremely bullish, uh, but if you look at the big picture right here, you can tell there's really not much to get bullish about, right? For the long term. Um, let me get back over to our charts here. All right, dot com bubble compared to Bitcoin. As you can see, this rallied up a little bit higher, but all these weren't the exact same, but it's about the pattern. And there's it's still making the same pattern. As you can see here, it never broke the 55 EMA on the way down. 
I think the same thing most likely going to happen here. And guys, this could take even longer. We may be somewhere in this range, right? It's possible. I'm not saying it is, but it is possible. Maybe this does take longer, depending on what the tra traditional markets do. Uh, but anyways, again, there's my invalidation point. Nothing's changed here, guys. Uh, we made this chart on December 2nd, 2021. You can check the video out. I'll leave it up here. Also, the Prime XBT up here. Both the links are down below. Definitely check them out if you haven't already. Um, yeah, I'm out of here. This could be a false bottom, like I said right here, but I, I really don't think it is. But I did say once we broke this weekly trend line, Bitcoin would rally, and we broke it, and it'd rally. But it would be a bull trap, which I think it is. Have a good day. I'm out.